Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. The... It seems like the big story continues to be Hurricane Dorian. It's currently a Category 2, spinning off the coast of the Carolinas after devastating the Bahamas over the weekend. Everyone's thoughts are with the people down there. Everyone but Donald Trump's thoughts, because <laughs> he's still obsessed with Alabama. Man, get over that. Over the weekend, uh, he got into it with the National Weather Service over whether Alabama was in the path of the storm. He said it was. They said, no, you're crazy. So yesterday, <laughs> he tried to prove his point with an outdated map from last week, which he had personally altered with a Sharpie. <laughs> so, he drew like a tumor on it. It was... Come that on. looks stupid and kind of sad. So, <laughs> last night, Trump tweeted out this map with the message, this was the originally projected <laughs> path of the hurricane in its earlier stages. As you can see, almost all models predicted to go through Florida, also hitting Georgia and Alabama. <laughs> I accept the fake news. Apologies. Uh, pump your brakes there, Al Roker. Um, <laughs> no one's apologizing because that map does not prove anything. First of all, it's not from the National Ocean Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It's from the South Florida Water Management District. <laughs> That's like getting your MRI at Glamour Shots. <laughs> I'm perfectly healthy and my spleen looks great in a feather boa. <laughs> Plus, right at the bottom of the map it says, National Hurricane Center advisories and county emergency management statements supersede this product. If anything on this graphic causes confusion, ignore the entire product. <laughs> Strong stuff. Strong statement. Strong statement, though I gotta say, the entire product is a very disrespectful way to describe the President of the United States. <laughs> so as the storm surge was flooding Charleston today, Trump stayed laser focused on where it might have used to have been. <laughs> this afternoon, he tweeted out four maps from NOAA with a caption, just as I said, Alabama was originally projected to be hit. The fake news denies it. <laughs> Those maps are from a week ago. <laughs> you made your dumb Alabama tweet two days later when the maps looked like this, when it was clearly not going anywhere near Alabama. So once again, all weather models show 100% likelihood that the path of your head goes straight where the sun don't shine. <laughs> He also retweeted an Alabama National Guard tweet from six days ago warning Alabamans about the storm with the message, I was with you all the way, Alabama. <laughs> the fake news media was not. <laughs> How lovely. He's comforting imaginary victims of a disaster <laughs> that never happened. I, for one, stand with the victims of the Kaiser's assault on Narnia. <laughs> The fake news never talks about all the Zeppelins he didn't send to kill poor Mr. Tumnus. The storm surge has come ashore in the country that this man governs. Hundreds of thousands of people are presently without power. What's it going to be like when he visits the victims of the storm? So sad to see the damage here in South Carolina, or as many call it, East Alabama. Oh my come on, but man. Trump. Just why won't you just give it up? Why won't he just let it go? <laughs> then again, to be fair, Trump uh, was not the only one tweeting dumb stuff about the hurricane. So was Democratic candidate and woman punching herself with love. <laughs> Marianne Williamson. Yesterday, uh, Williamson tweeted, the Bahamas, Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas may all be in our prayers now. Millions of us seeing Dorian turn away from land is not a wacky idea. It is a creative use of the power of the mind. Yes. 
the power of the mind. So Trump wants to nuke hurricanes, which is obviously crazy. Mm. Marianne Williamson knows the only true defense against a hurricane is a giant coastal dream catcher. <laughs> Williamson deleted the tweet, which is not very presidential. Trump hasn't even deleted his tweet. Trump doesn't delete anything, right? Trump never deletes anything. He hasn't even deleted his tweet from last week that spelled majority as Majo Titty. <laughs> yeah. He should have deleted that one. Majo Titty. Yeah. Uh, should have deleted that one. That's what Trump thought he was drawing on that hurricane map. <laughs> Let's add a little Majo Titty right there. Thank you for your service, Majo Titty. <laughs> but in the lighter side of the hurricane, due to the storm, police in Florida say 16 cocaine bricks have washed up on two beaches, which explains why the CBS weatherman in Florida looks like this. 